Hi there, this is Jeanette for Whimsy Stamps. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to take you through the process of creating a beautiful, elegant thank you card. Um, the idea for this card came when I saw the lattice background stamp and the background buddy stamps that you can also purchase. I knew I wanted to create a background, very simple and soft, and then layer some die cuts over top of it. So here is the background stamp. And here are some of the background buddies that you can purchase. There's a, a set. Um, I don't know how many, but there's more than that. I just have a strip. So what I did was I took this piece of cardstock and I cut it to size. I'm going to just run this um, embossing buddy over top of it to get rid of any static. And then I'll take my Versamark ink and I will just ink up that background stamp. Once that's done, I will lay the cardstock over top and being careful not to move it, I will put a piece of printer paper over top and just press down really firmly so that I get a really nice impression. Then I'm going to take some embossing powder, just going to sprinkle that over top and just make sure that every area is covered tap off the excess and then I took it over and heated it up with my embossing tool. So you can see how I have this beautiful sort of lattice but you can see there's little sort of spots where they intersect um, and that's where I'm going to take one of the buddy stamps and I'm going to stamp it in between each of those places and I picked the star. You can see how beautiful that looks. But there's tons of other um, different um, little background buddy stamps. So you can really switch it up. I know there's one that's like a little paw, like of a dog. So that's really cute if you want like a, to make like a pet inspired card. So once that was all done, I did pull out um, my dies, the leaf dies, there's two sets, one and two, so I pulled out both sets. I ended up only using one, but both of them are very beautiful. I'm going to be cutting them out using this sort of metal plate because it really helps um, cut them very crisply and you can really sort of take the cardstock right out of the die very, very easily. So just running that through and I'm using just some Anita cardstock and you can see how beautiful and crisp that cut is and then you can just pop the die cuts out of the dies. Um, there are little holes in the dies so you can just take a craft tool and sort of poke at them and then you can just pull the die cut out. So after I had cut all the um, die cuts from like the first um, die set I had, I realized I had enough for my card. Just got to place them and sort of get an idea of what I want to do. So then I thought I needed um, a sentiment. So I pulled out the gratitude word die set. I'm going to be die cutting a sentiment thank, thankful out of the same cardstock. And I also pulled out um, another die set and die cut this flower. And what I'm going to do to give it a little bit more dimension is I just have a mouse pad here and an embossing tool. And I'm just rubbing it over the back side of the flower and then I'm flipping it over and running it in the center. And you can see that just sort of makes it um, have more of a shape, like a rounded shape. Um, and I could have done that with some of the other die cuts, but I really just wanted the flower to be sort of raised up from the card. But you could certainly do that like with the heart-shaped um, leaves. You could have done the same thing. Then I'm going to take some glue. This is some zig glue, and although it is blue, when you um, first put it onto your die cut, it does dry down clear. So I'm using that to sort of adhere everything. And this card is 
one that you could certainly mass produce. You could create the background uh, embossing on several pieces of cardstock, and then you could cut out a whole bunch of dies and then just assemble everything um, in your next step. And it wouldn't take much longer than doing one card. So this is really great if you want to create a bunch of cards to give as a gift, or if you want to create a bunch of cards and just keep them um, for yourself to give out as you need. I'm just going to use my craft knife here just to poke out any parts of those letters that are not supposed to be there. I'm going to add some glue using these tweezers. They're so handy for placing things where you want them to go exactly without, you know, trying to use your fingers to do it. I always have, I always get glue on my fingers and then everything sticks to them. So I really like using these tweezers. I did put a block over top just to make sure everything dried flat, flush to the card. Then I realized I wanted to put a brad in the flower and I was really lucky to be able to pull up that flower without ripping it. So this is a pearl from my stash. Um, you can find similar ones in the stores. So there's my card done. Thanks so much for watching. A full list of supplies and links can be found below this video on YouTube or my blog. Um, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support and I'll see you next time.